It may not be intuitively obvious why the Secretary of the Navy would come to North Texas, right here in the heart of Army and Air Force country. We do have about 6,000 active and reserve Navy and Marine Corps personnel located at the Joint Reserve Base in Fort Worth. Some of those are with us today. But, you know, you don't see many guided missile destroyers or aircraft carriers sailing on Louisville Lake. <laughs> and even though I wasn't able to find conclusive evidence to the contrary, I'm not aware of the last Marine Corps amphibious assault on shady shores. <laughs> but that's part of the reason that I'm here, that it's not traditional Navy country. And it's the reason that whenever I travel and wherever I travel, I like to take the opportunity to talk to people about the Navy and Marine Corps, who we are, what we do, what direction we're going in. But you know, to stay great, and to stay ahead of the challenges that we are confronting throughout the world, the Navy and Marine Corps are investing a lot in our future right now. Navy scientists, Navy research efforts are investigating a whole host of important areas and emerging technologies from green energy, unmanned systems, climate change, to weapon systems development and missile defense improvement. We have a professor here at UNT, Nandika D'Souza, working on developing biodegradable packaging for us that can be dissolved in seawater. If it becomes commercially viable, it would dramatically increase, decrease the waste generated by a ship at sea, decrease the amount of space required to store that waste in plastic, and wait till we get back to port to offload it. I think I was most impressed, though, with the tremendous effort UNT has made to support a very large and vibrant veterans population. Almost 1,200 students and their families get veterans benefits on this campus. If there are any veterans in the audience, student veterans, and I do see some uniforms of active duty people. I want to thank you for your service. Thank you for your willingness to wear the fabric of this country. Thank you for your willingness to put yourself in dangerous situations to protect the rest of us. And thank you for committing to continuing your education following your military service. Yeah.